you already learned what Euclid's division algorithm is. An algorithm is a series of well-defined steps which gives a procedure for solving a type of problem. That means algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure. By using Euclid's division lemma, by step-by-step -step you can find out the HCF of any two numbers. Now, before going to that, what HD, HCF means? Let me do a small activity here. Here, you have a hall with a 30 meter length and 80 meter height. Now, you have to tile this floor, floor of the hall, with the square tiles. You have to choose the tile with the maximum, maximum size. Let me fill this by a square tile of 18 meter. What will you get? It's a square tile of 18 meter. Now this rectangular portion is remaining. So we cannot fill this by 18 meter square tile. Now this portion that is the length of that portion. Here remaining portion is 12 units. Now let me fill that portion with a square of side 12 meter. Now this portion is total height is 18. So this portion will be 6. Still it is it cannot be filled with the at 12 meters square. Now let me fill the remaining portion by 6 meters square tiles. This is 1. Let me take one more 6 meter square and keep it here. Now the remaining portion exactly filled. So by using 6, six meter square tiles you can completely fill the hall or floor tile the hall. So here 6 denote the HCF of 18 and 30. Actually what we did here? First we divide 30 by 80. Then 1 you got as sensor and 12 you got as remainder. That is 30 we can write it as 18 into 1 plus 12. Then we took the 12 into 12 and 18 measured rectangle. Now 18 we can write it as 18 is equal to 12 into 1 plus 6. After that we took a rectangle of sides 12 and 6. That we can write as 12 is equal to 6 into 2 plus 0. Here when we get 0 as the remainder, the divisor is equal to 6. So this divisor we can call it as HCF. Here we got the HCF by step by step procedure. That is we took first 30 and 80. A 1 is a quotient and 12 is a remainder. That means 30 is equal to 18 to 1 plus 12. This is in the form of a is equal to b cube plus r. That means we used Euclid's division lemma to arrive the answer as 6. Now let us find out the HCF of two numbers by using division Euclid's division algorithm. 
Here we have two numbers, 210 and 55. You have to find out the HCF of these two numbers by using Euclid's division algorithm. Now since 210 greater than 55, to use Euclid's division lemma on these two numbers, first we have to divide 210 by 55. Since 210 greater than 55, we apply division lemma to 210 and 55 to get 210, we can write it as 55 into 3 plus 45. Since remainder 45 is not equal to 0, now we apply Euclid's division lemma on 210 and 55. Sorry, 55 and 45. Let us divide it 55 by 45. Now you get quotient as 1 and remainder as 10. So if we apply Euclid's division lemma on 55 and 45, we get now we are getting new divisor and new remainder. That is 45 and 10. Now apply division lemma to 45 and 10. What we will get? 45 we can write it as 45 is equal to 10 into 4 plus 5. Again we are getting a new divisor 10 and new remainder 5. Let us apply division lemma to 10 and 5. What will we get? When we divide 10 by 5, we will get the portion as 2 and remainder 0. So we can, that is, we consider the new divisor 10 and new remainder 5 and apply division lemma to get 10 is equal to 5 into plus 0. Now, when the remainder becomes 0, the divisor is 5. Divisor is 5. So, we can call it as HCF of 210, 210 and 55. We can write it as 5 the divisor. This is the way to find out the HCF of any two numbers by Euclid's division algorithm. In the textbook exercise 1.1, page number 7, you have two, three questions from S1, that is using division algorithm to find the HCF of 135 to 25. 196 and this is 38,220, 867 and 250. You can follow that same step-by-step -step procedure to find out the HCF of these numbers. Please try to do, try to solve these three sums. That is for, that is all for today's class.